Pacers, who have won three straight regular season titles and the past two tournament championships. Chico Carter, strong move. Gonna make it earn it every single time, and they absolutely were known where number 21 in red is. And how about Murray State countering a 7 0 run for Austin P with their own 8 0 run in the last two minutes? Brown fires away, counted and A momentous comeback in the last 8.53. So we only saw one possession of zone, which resulted in a stop. Moran drawing two defenders and creating again. Job in transition to create a little space for Marcus Howard. After the double-digit lead for Murray State, five straight for Marquette. Moran, feed inside, court, and a reach-in foul. Buchanan off the screen from Cohen. Back into the hands of John Moran. Trailed by Bailey. Oh! date myself in that he reminds me of Rick Smith. This is a hundred years ago, Alex, but a young man who's got long arms, can't move him, and can finish left or right. Yuzinski is very talented. You think anybody on the floor right now knows who Rick Smith is? Probably not. <laughs> but <laughs> but they he should. was good. He was good. He certainly was. Eve's hoist. Out here. In and out on that one. Why was that so wide open? The racers committed themselves to helping on Musinski, almost daring Benkert to shoot from the perimeter. Carters love that baseline drive. And you know from Nick Musinski, who had 14 first half points. And we are back underway here in the Ford Center. Musinski has given the Bruins a ton of confidence on the offensive end on his post ups. Seven Brown, deep look inside. They've got to be able to score so that they can set their D. John Morant threatening a triple-double. Already has a double-double. Last triple-double, Draymond Green, Michigan State. Game, this is the third straight year these two teams have matched up in this contest. Both have gone to the Racers. Great look to Gilmore with the finish. It was easily his toughest recruiting miss ever. And how about this? How about the way things work out? Now he's coaching him at Belmont, his alma mater. And Williams is serving him first time. The freshman from Venezuela turns it over. Austin P is at a disadvantage because they normally can hit Taylor on the block. They always love to get the ball in his hands coming out of timeouts, but that's not the advantage that they have against Murray State. Welcome to Evansville, Indiana. It's the Ohio Valley Conference Championship. Murray State versus Belmont. It's Tevin. Two-point edge for the racers and the ball. 4.15 to go in the OVC Championship. Smith got position. Fun to watch their shoot around. One of the loudest ones that ever been a part of the music whistles hype men as, as student managers the whole thing and coach mcmahon has a fantastic command of his team was working the perimeter murray state can take some time off the clock it'll be under two minutes by the time this possession is over most likely key stop here for austin p to have any chance williams finds it scores 
the one. And that... Just about as good as it gets. We are going to punch a ticket to the NCAA tournament here tonight. Tevin Brown. Jay Williams. A subtle mention here as well. Belmont has helped themselves in terms of getting some offensive rebounds like last night. Murray State could not allow that to happen. And his desire to win and his competitive spirit helps make this Murray State team so dangerous because he's unselfish. We asked him yesterday, how do you explain your vision? He says, I watch a lot of statement three for the Golden Eagles. You can just see he wants to seek shots. He's a winner. That kid wants to play. He wants the ball. The tournament's two leading scorers. And Team has won their home meeting this year, and of course, it's a rematch for the third straight season here in the OVC championship game. Racer ball out of the break, and now a one on the block. There was more drives in the first half, but certainly back to the basket paint touches for the racers has ruled the day in the second half. Eves again from the corner, off the mark this time, tied once again. Outstanding pace to Scanlon. Just knows what he's doing with the basketball in his hands. High low look there from Smith. And through the foul here to the Ford Center. And Murray State has gotten the last two. So something you would say has to give in Evansville tonight. Eves give him four. Jarrell Murray, Kentucky, a recruiting diamond in the rough, ended up at a basketball diamond in the rough. Murray State, the Racers. Morant draws the D. State, the Racers. Morant draws the D. Order in transition. Morant has another rebound. And John Speed Racer. Over to the wing and a miss three. Another rebound. Morant. Low run out. And a Into Sam Houser, turn around. Another fight for the board, won by John Moran. Giving him five rebounds now, whips it ahead. Buchanan in tie, spins it. And Marcus Howard, 23 points on 27 field goal attempts. Well, the representative remaining from the Ohio Valley Conference. 11 straight wins since February 2nd for Murray State. John Moran, flips to the corner, Eves. Jaw crossing over, rocking the cradle and creating for Shaq. 
you want if you're Marquette, but now you've got to get stops because you're playing against the time as much as you are the deficit right now. Back into the hands of Morant with Joey Hauser and Brendan Bailey chasing whips. Morant way past Sharchuni, draws five, kicks, double double. Joining Ja. Tell you what, Brendan Bailey's done as good a job as you really can do on him, but it's so important in the nation, averaging 25 a game. Morant whips it over to Buchanan for triple. Murray State by 20. On to Buchanan. Morant has a ball. Ja Morant attacking, takes it right at Bailey, gets a foul called. Jabba Rant attacking. No screen. It's all Jabba. Step back. Jack. 